XDA Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech yeah. Ninja. And today on XDA, I have a video that I made with love. There was an application that was in the market that had over 1 million downloads, a 4.7 rating, and it was a Android all-in-one utility that did not require root access. It did all these system things, like it cleaned out your cache, it ran for viruses, it had a battery saver mode, and all sorts of sweet stuff for free. So what I did was I installed the application and gave it the Tech Ninja treatment. How did it go? Well, you silly Billy, you have to watch the video. <laughs> This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com slash tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. The application that I am putting to the test is Advanced Mobile Care. When launching the application, you are greeted with a quick tutorial. Then you see this large blue virus scan button, but more on this later. This application touts many features. The first one that I'm going to cover is Game Speeder, which is supposed to scan the game files and optimize it to run better on your device. This does not work for all games, but only games it has a profile for. Out of my 12 games installed, it shows up for two of them. This optimizes the files first, then launches the games. I didn't see much of a difference, but on the flip side, I don't have issues at all when gaming on my Nexus 4. Your miles may vary on this, I guess. The next application is App Manager. It allows you to see all your applications and remove them in bulk. It also allows you to move applications to your SD card if it supports it. Then, it finds all APKs on your device and allows you to install it from this menu. I find that feature very helpful because I'm always beta testing applications. And if I go there, it shows me all the APKs I have on my device and also helps you clean it up faster too. Next up is Battery Saver Mode, which is designed to put your phone in a mode to save the battery. But what it really does is put your phone into an ultra airplane mode. It turns off data, Bluetooth, sync, radio, and brightness all the way down. At this point, you might as well turn off your phone, but you can modify what happens in the mode and make adjustments accordingly. So you can set it up so it doesn't turn off your data all the way, but out the box, to me, it's useless. There's also a task killer that will close applications that are currently running. I don't like task killers and I'm sure many of you Android users will agree with me here, but it's here if you want it and it works as expected and also the widget you can click to close all running applications too. So that's cool, I guess. Privacy Advisor runs a scan on all your applications and it tells you the permissions. I'm going to look at my apps that are able to make phone calls. I'm checking in here to see if any applications are here that shouldn't belong. If there was something in here, for example, let's say it's a game that wants to be able to make phone calls, then I'll just uninstall it. Next, I go into read location. This is basically figuring out which applications can access your GPS to see where you're at. Some games may pull your location data, but if I don't play that game often, I'd remove it. Security is a huge pain point for many people, including myself, so being mindful of what applications can do is extremely important. There are several more options in here, so take the time and find out which applications can do what. This feature alone may be worth the download. Privacy Locker allows you to set passwords on pictures, videos, and files. You first set up a six digit password and make the security password and answer. I'm gonna select video. When I go into videos, I can select the video to lock. I need to add it to the exclusion list. So it's no longer my albums now. To access the video, I need to go back into the locker, unlock it, and then watch it. I really wished it would lock the video but keep it in my gallery. I hate having to jump around applications to find what I need, but it is what it is. And if you want to lock a specific file, this may be your only option. There's a section for cloud backup. It allows you to back up your call settings, your logs and SMS, and it goes to their cloud, wherever that is, and then you can pull it back down. An account is required. I can see this feature is somewhat useful. However, Google does back up a lot of this stuff already. 
I'm really wondering how secure their servers are or wherever your information is being backed up to. Now, I did try the anti-theft and here is how it's supposed to work. You launch the application on your phone, you set up a password. Then if your phone is stolen, you grab another phone and install this application on it, type in the phone number and use the password, and then from there you can lock the device, set passwords and get locations. Now it has to be a phone, not a tablet. I tried it on my Nexus 7 and it said it's not compatible. And that sounds like it's a lot to do to find your phone, especially when your phone is lost or stolen. Seconds are crucial, let alone minutes. There is not an SMS trigger that I saw, so it takes about five minutes at least to even get to the point of finding your phone. Finding the phone functionality needs a lot of work. In fact, I couldn't even get it to work with my phone. I had three separate people help me by installing the application and typing in that password and vice versa. Still couldn't get it to work. Remember in the beginning I talked about the virus scan? Well, let's go back to it. It took me about four minutes to run on my device, which isn't a big deal. I've never had an Android virus before, so I can't tell you how good it is. The application runs continuously in the background as well. So if you're worried about speed, memory, or battery life, this application may do more harm than good. I always feel that if you're not downloading things you shouldn't be downloading, then you want to have an issue with the virus in the first place. I've downloaded and installed over a thousand applications and I never had an issue with the virus. But maybe I'm just lucky. Who knows? All right, folks, that was my full go through of the application. As I said before, the application just didn't work right for me. Maybe it works good for you. Who knows? I couldn't use the find my phone feature either. I tried with multiple devices and it also made me a little weary that you had to actually install the program on a different phone to use the find my phone feature. Um, as I said a few moments ago, I really want something to find my phone quickly and it doesn't take as long. Now, what I use to find my phone, I use Cerebus. Um, it is a root application, but it's probably the best, you know, find my phone application. So check that out. Also, make your way down to the XDA DEF CON if you can. It's going to be a great, great thing. Flights are pretty cheap right now, so look into those. And also, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. This is an awesome channel with many videos, tips, tricks, and tutorials from great producers. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm The Tech Ninja. Go ahead and Google me and you'll find all my stuff or just click the link below that takes you to my channel. And that's it, folks. Once again, my name is Kevin, a.k.a. The Tech Ninja, and I'm checking out. Peace.